you must straighten out your position with the church. Pope John Paul II shouted at a cowering Ernesto Cardinal, a Catholic priest turned Marxist activist. In violation of his religious vows, Cardinal had joined the communist Sandinista government in Nicaragua. And Pope John Paul II was scolding him before the cameras of the entire world. That sensational scene in 1983 on a Managua airport runway provided one of the most startling images of Pope John Paul II's anti-communist pontificate. So strong were Pope John Paul II's anti-communist credentials, and so effective was his anti-Soviet advocacy, that Kremlin leaders hired a Turkish gunman to assassinate him. That attempt failed, and Pope John Paul II continued to denounce the Soviets until their empire crumbled in 1991. Striving to build up the one human family. And when the day came on June 2nd, 1979, and one million Poles gathered around Victory Square for their very first mass with their Polish Pope, that day every communist in Warsaw must have known that their oppressive system would soon come crashing down.